Hey everyone, Bill McRae here, starting an online business at home. A lot of people think, oh, it can't be done, sell a scam. Well, here I am, this is my house, there's my guitars in the wall. My dog will come in here, I can make my own coffee. Near my TV in the background, my wife might walk in and say hello. Who knows, this is what working from home is all about. Now, I work from home, and I work from home a lot. In other words, my wife goes, you never quit working. I enjoy what I do. And I enjoy what I do because I get to be honest with people. And I don't have to remember my stories. I, they're just, they're not stories that I make up. They're, I'm sharing with real life experiences with people. So it's very easy to be honest. Uh, I started online in 2002. And I, I got other videos on here. I started a a business selling guitars online. I had ran a very large wholesale business for many, 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 many years. I was a CEO of it and we ended up just uh, selling the business. And then suddenly I had nothing to do. And I, but I was a musician and I loved playing my guitars. So I decided to start selling guitars. And I bought a few and sold a few on eBay and I thought I can do this for a living. So like a fool, I thought, what could be easier than setting up a website putting products on it and selling it to consumers. Not a, not a single thing about doing any of that was easy. This goes back to 2002, there were a lot of obstacles to overcome. Um, but I, I did, and we successfully built that to about almost two and a half to three million dollars in sales. And we became a thorn in the side to the biggest competitor, decided that he wanted to get rid of us, so he bought us out. Now, back in 2002, things were quite a bit different than they are in 2019. That was 17 years ago. I can't hardly even believe it. We sold the business at the end of 2004 and um, walked away in January of 2005. So I was, you know, that was the beginning of my internet experience. I went on to become a chief financial officer for a company out of Stuttgart, Germany for a few years. But I continued to do things online because I I had learned so much through my experience of setting up a real online e-commerce retail business, ultimately moving into affiliate marketing and software and product uh, development. Now, all the stuff we did um, was, was real. It was very true products, very real businesses. Massive Passive Profit was a system that would build automated blogs on subdomains. And if you deployed your AdSense ads on there, you can make money at it. I remember after selling that, we I made about, well, I think we made four and a half million dollars in sales. Uh, we sold over 40,000 copies of the front end product. Um, I was doing live presentation and stages around the United States in business opportunity events. People would walk up to me and say, Bill, I, I'm able to make my house payment, or Bill, I got a new car. Or, there was all these great things people were telling me about what they were able to do with our product. So I was very proud of what we did. A year later, I launched a product called Above the Matrix, which is a website builder. All it was, it would automate the process of building a blog, and then you can build a blog on a domain and sell it at Flippa, and you can make, you know, $100 on a brand new blog on Flippa. You still can today, and we did that. We made a couple million dollars more of that product, and uh, it, was a, it was a really good idea and a really good product, and it sold very well, and I ended up selling that business. And all of that evolved into lead generation because that's really the heart of everything in every business if you're going to be online. If you're going to run an at-home online business, you need to know how to find customers and, and, and motivate them to buy. And that's lead generation and email marketing and now it's YouTube marketing and social media marketing. A few other things kind of feed into it. But the fact is, all the way through, going back to 2002, I ran each one of these businesses, which made me progressively more money, um, as they were a business. Okay, not one single business I ran took three clicks of a mouse to make me a billionaire. Okay, none of them. Not single. Not one single one of the businesses I ran or I put together or products I created required you to recruit other people in order to make money, which is a recruitment scheme. Now, if your job as a business owner is to find other people to buy the business and you get paid a piece of their business, they get pay, paid a piece of their downline business, and all that, the guy at the top gets a little piece of everybody's business, that's a recruitment-based pyramid, 
better known as a pyramid scheme. And if you look at the revenue generated throughout the scheme, it never generates enough revenue to compensate everybody in that in the compensation plan. And typically it is not a real product. When we were selling uh, software, there was a real product. And yes, I had an affiliate program, but I didn't pay affiliates to find affiliates to find affiliates to find affiliates to find, affiliates to find which is a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are, uh, or Ponzi schemes, they are unsustainable because as soon as you get far enough from the, the, the top producers, people don't go out and they don't find enough people to replace themselves and add the additional cash flow to the mix to make sure the whole system gets paid. That's why things like Traffic Monsoon folded, that's why uh, I guess um, one that I actually did get involved in and did really well with was FutureNet, it, that's, that's gonna go bye-bye. You know, they're all gonna disappear because there is no real product of value. Now, if you go back to Traffic Monsoon, they said they were selling advertising, great. Nobody made money off their ads. They only clicked on ads so they could make money off of someone else. So it just didn't make sense. I mean, there has to be some real value delivered to somebody. So when you're looking at these products, here's what I gotta recommend to you. First of all, I would want there to be something real that you're selling. It can be information, it can be you know training, it can be coaching, it can be anything like that. It can be uh, a product, CBD oil is fine. Um, uh, all, uh, the health products are fine. There, there's plenty of you know good products out there and network marketing companies. They typically don't pay that well and only after you get a network built that's huge. And then you know, it all comes down to how big of a network you can build to sustain yourself. And realizing that out of that network, 90% of the people are going to fall out, that the whole game of recruiting people is going to fail because usually the products are very poor in quality and they don't they don't justify the amount of money people or and effort people put into them. Now there are things like the Tupperware and the, you know the, the, uh, uh, some of the, the ladies' makeup stuff where margins are huge, volumes don't need to be huge for people to get paid good commissions, stuff like that. Some of that's sustainable. Uh, I'm not saying it's it's not. But even things like Herbal Life, not really sustainable. I mean, there is a product there, but the product, you know, as soon as they uh, outlawed Ephedra, it became completely useless. Um, excuse me for moving so much. I have a broken hip, and it really bothers me. Um, so, my point in this is, if you are going to start an online business at home, you should. Look at it like a real business, okay? You should sit down and uh, I can show you this thing right here. That's my tax return for my business. Hard to believe, ain't it? But it truly is my tax return. And it's, it is the way it is. Um, I have a business plan, I have uh, a budget, and I review that budget each quarter, and I adjust things accordingly, and I change my business plan. If you're going to run an online business from home, you should still look at it like a business. If you think it's just, I'm going to do a few things and make so much money, I'm going to get rich, it, it isn't that easy. So starting an online business at home is the cheapest, lowest cost thing you can possibly do and make a huge amount of money, but you've got to have real tenacity, real uh, uh, marketing mindset, a, a, an entrepreneur thought process of figuring out why it works, what works, doesn't work. And don't believe any of the hypey ass products out there that show you the pictures of the cool looking dude with the jet plane and the hot bikini girl, because those things are all scams. Buy and move products and things that you believe in, that you honestly believe in. If you really think you're going to be one of those jet set bums, then, and you can do it, wow, good for you. I'll visit you when you're in jail. You guys have a great day.